Okay, in this video, I'm just going to run this close-up view of the animation from yesterday. And while it's running, I'll point out a few tips about it. One is that I've mentioned before from earlier video on rendering glass, is one of the most important things you can do is have surfaces with a lot of facets in it. And that's why those fractal type surfaces look so nice like in here is because they have so many faces so I like to use them a lot so that'll really help you because try and render you know a sphere with glass it's pretty boring right so this really helps but another thing is my renders are pretty quick and it's not only because of the GPU that I'm using and that's it's completely significant but one of the most overlooked things uh, that I found is uh, your operating system so for instance years ago the best way to make your computer faster was either first of all put a fast graphics card in and second add a lot of memory those were just two fundamental things because if you didn't have enough memory what would happen is that well the system would work and it would act like there was plenty of memory but it would use virtual memory like this 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 great thing but virtual memory for those of you who don't know is the memory on your hard drive so what it does it has to go get the data off your hard drive and process it and go and it starts swapping back and forth and accessing hard drive memory is super slow relative to your regular RAM right and so either having extra memory in your computer can be a big help but then there's another issue that comes along and this is the issue that really I've seen can really cause people's problems and if you have if you have really significant slowdowns and maybe you have a fast graphics card is sometimes with operating systems like say for instance Windows I run Windows 7 64-bit version and the pro version and the reason why is it's one of the reasons is that it is able to access a lot of memory but if you're running like the home version or the basic version of these operating systems by default they don't have access to near as much RAM right and so the operating system takes RAM and all the other programs that get loaded at boot up they take a lot of RAM and so if just by upgrading your operating system can make a big difference in some cases because suddenly it can take advantage of the RAM that you might have in your system but it's, so if you find some you know really super long render times you know on the verge of minutes and it seems ridiculous that can be an issue you might want to look to just search it on the web like you know Windows memory allocation operating system and you'll find lists that show you you know what each version of the operating system is capable of allocating all right so that's uh, that can be really really useful for some of you okay well that's it for now and I'll see you in the next video